there is a lot more to roots than meets the eye. And to properly understand plants, we must learn about the anatomy of their roots. The plants we see around us remain anchored to the soil with the help of roots. The main root in the root system is called the primary root and the other roots originating from it are the secondary and tertiary roots. Now if we take a longitudinal section of the root, we can see that the tender apex of the root is covered by a thimble-shaped structure called the root cap. The root cap consists of cells that slough off as the root grows into the soil. The root cap also secretes mucilage, which prevents friction. We can see that above the root cap is a pad of cells. This is called the quiescent center. The cells of this region rarely divide. Near the quiescent center and just above the root cap region, there is the zone of cell division. This is also known as apical meristem. The cells of this region are small, thin-walled, densely protoplasmic and with a large nucleus. The apical meristem contains some groups of cells called initials, which include dermatogen, the outer group, periblum, the median group and the pleurome, the innermost group. Above this zone lies the zone of elongation. The cells of this region are more or less parenchymatous. Cells increase in length thereby helping to push the root further deep into the soil. Above the zone of elongation, we find the zone of maturation. The cells of this region are mature and are differentiated into outer epidermis, middle cortex and inner vascular tissue. The main root in the root system is called the primary root and the other roots originating from it are secondary and tertiary roots. The root cap consists of cells that slough off as the root grows through the soil. The cells of apical meristem are densely protoplasmic with a large nucleus. Cells in the zone of elongation help to push the root further deep into the soil. Above the zone of elongation, we find the zone of maturation.